Good day, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube land. Rocknot here with another pickup video. And, uh, yeah, I just picked this up today. Today is Sunday, June the 1st. I am stoked about this pickup. You know, I can't be more excited about it. Um, now, this is pickups throughout the entire week, but most of this was picked up today. All right, so we'll get started with some of the earlier week's pickups. All right, so first we'll get started off with my boxed NES games. I picked up Orthello, or Orthello, Orthello. It's complete in box, manual, and cartridge inside. Need a little bit of cleaning, but it works. Um, the box has some light wear and tear. I'd probably rate it an 8 out of 10. And then Wheel of Fortune featuring Vanna White also for the NES. Boxed and complete with the manual and dust sleeve and everything inside. Again, uh, box has got some general wear and tear. Uh, this one's a little bit more worse for wear than, uh, than the other one. So I'd probably give it about a 7 out of 10. Again, game just needed a little bit of cleaning and then fired up right away. And then I did a, a trade-in at my local uh, retro shop here in town for a Le Legend of Dragoon Black Label Edition. I have only ever seen this game in greatest hits. So I've got the, the discs here. Unfortunately, it's missing the manual, but the discs are in fantastic shape. I know the label says $40, but I traded in the remaining Final Fantasy games from that epic PS1, PS2 pickup and got this bad boy. And I already made my money back and then some off the PS1, PS2 pickup. So I got this for free, basically. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm very stoked to have that as well. Um, and then I met a gentleman, um, had this for sale, talked him down. And I, got, and I got Pokemon X for the D 3DS. It is complete, yes. The game is missing. It's in my DS right now. Um, but the Nintendo code wasn't used. So bonus for me, I got to use extra. I got the points from that. And then also, we're, earlier in the week, I picked up a copy of Luigi's Mansion. Black Label. Now, I picked this up originally to replace my copy. Un unfortunately... Uh, the disc, as you can see, has been put through a shredder. It does work. I've tested it out. And the label, you can see there's some damage there. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got quite a bit of a wowing, like almost water damage to it. So I'm going to stick with my player's choice copy of the game and then just trade this off. Or um, I'll, I'll, I've got this up for sale actually right now. So that's the earlier in the week pickups. I didn't I didn't pay much for any of those. Uh, oh, sorry about my finger. <laughs> All right, so we'll get on to today's pickup. We'll start with some of the some of the not so exciting items here. You can see there's uh, quite a bit here. So we'll start with the uh, PS2 Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. It is complete with game disc and all the inserts. Now, the story behind this pickup is a lady, uh, a lady's stepmother had, had passed away. Now, you can see it's just really dusty, but other than that, it's in fantastic condition. Just need a little bit of light dusting. Uh, so the lady's stepmother had passed away, and all of this stuff was just put into storage. So she's, you know, going through and selling it because she just doesn't use it. And it's all been adult owned and never been touched by little one hands. So it's all in fantastic shape. I can't get over how good a shape all this stuff is in. And then you've got uh, a greatest hits copy of Ratchet and Clank. Also complete. It actually has the poster inside as well. And the disc, again, other than dust, fantastic condition. All right. Then, we also picked us up a zapper. Uh, I've actually picked up two zappers in the last week. 
Um, I believe it works. I haven't tested it yet. But going based on what everything else looks like that I've picked up from this lady, um, for sure, I'm like sure this is all going to work. And then the jumper pack for the N64. She decided she'd throw in a Super Game Boy for me, which was great of her. I love the fact that she did that. I'm very happy about that. Um, I don't have one of these, so this is actually going on my shelf, and I will be keeping this. Thank you very much once again, if you're watching this video and you know who you are. Um, I got the Kinect cable for the GameCube to the uh, Game Boy Advance system. I don't know if it works with the SP, but I'll test it out. Because I, I don't have the original uh, Game Boy Advance system, but I do have an SP. So I'll test that out and see if it works. Also, we got us here a Tremor pack for the N64, third party, with the memory card card slot, which is just awesome. Can't wait to test that out. That's going to be epic. Inside this little memory card holder here, we've got ourselves all the inserts. And then two memory cards, a blue and a gray. More memory cards for these older systems you can never have enough. And again, in perfect condition. We got ourselves a uh, third party N64 controller. The, the joystick is like brand new. Like brand new tight. Like you couldn't ask for a tighter joystick on that. And then same with the Nintendo, oops, the Nintendo uh, brand N64 controller. It's like it, it's brand new, like never been touched, it almost feels like. Now we'll move right along to the N64 console itself. Nice and clean. She said she cleaned up everything for me and it's got the expansion pack inside there. I suspected that when I saw the uh, Donkey Kong 64 there. Um, I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure all of this is going to work. Ooh. Didn't notice that. Nice big crack there in the back. Hope that doesn't um, interfere with anything, but you know, once you have the power cord plugged in, which I've got the power in the AVs already, so in the they're in the box. So once you have that plugged in, nobody's gonna notice that, anyways. And the port for the power is right there, so it should be fine. So we'll move right on to the N64 games here. So we got ourselves a Donkey Kong 64. In fantastic shape, no dings, no scratches, no label peeling, just great condition. Mario 64, again, no dings, no scratches, just fantastic condition. Mario Kart 64, again, same as the other two, Fant just overall fantastic condition from all of the games in this. Banjo Kazooie. Again, I can't say it. I can't say it enough. Like these are so mint. The only thing that would make this better if they came with the box in manual. But I'm just stoked to have them. And Banjo Tui. Stoked to have these games. I've never actually played them before, but they are going on my shelf. The Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tui. Um, I do own. Uh, Mario Kart 64, um, Mario 64, and Donkey Kong 64. So I will be checking to see if they're in better conditions than the one I have. And then swapping them out if I need to. Alright, also, we got another N64 manual. Those are always great to have with the N64. Collectors love having those. I've got two of them now. Now all I need is a freaking box. <laughs> Alright. Now, we'll move on to the creme de la creme. What I have been wanting to show you guys forever. Now, we got ourselves a Nintendo GameCube with a purple memory card. Nice, nice little purple system here. Seems to be in good condition. Power button work, or open button works and doesn't stick. 
and yeah, everything seems to be in good working condition there. Back of the system looks fantastic. And as you can see, we got a Game Boy player. I wasn't expecting that in this, but yeah, we got the Game Boy player on the bottom. And I know what you're saying, Rock Knot without the disc, it's useless. It's useless to you, Rock Knot, without the disc. Well, guess what, ladies and gents? Oops, look at my daughter's border there. We got ourselves the disc. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, and another memory card. Freaking right, doggy. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that. I, uh, As you can tell, I haven't been through all of this yet. I got home and had to deal with the kids. You know, I got the manual there for the... For the Game Boy Player. So yeah. I got the, the disc there. And it's even got the box to go over top of it. Like. I can't ask for better. Like this just. This is just amazing. This whole thing is just freaking amazing. Alright. And then. Oh yes ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a wave bird. With the receiver. Oh man, when you have little ones in the house and you're trying to play retro games and you've got a cord, oh man, you're just asking for trouble. But now, I've got me a wave bird. I am so happy to have that. And then the matching controller for the, uh, for the console itself. Alright, now that I'm through all of the hardware for the, in, or for the GameCube, let's get down to the games. So we've got Simpsons Hit and Run for the GameCube. It is complete, and the disc is in fantastic shape. Every, every disc that this lady and cartridge has, has given me, my God, I'm just in awe of it. Like, it's in better condition than some of the stuff I have, and I take good care of my stuff. Wario World, again, complete with disc. And manual and all the inserts and everything there. Mario Sunshine. This is like the third copy of this game I've had. Um, missing the manual, but the disc is in fantastic shape and it's got all the other inserts. So if all those other inserts are in better condition than the ones I have, or if I'm missing any of the, those inserts, they're going into my case. Or if this case is in better condition than the one I have, I'll be putting it... I'll be probably keeping this one over mine and just swapping the manual in. Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Um, again, disc and inserts. Whoops, no manual. And again, disc is in fantastic shape. Legend of Zelda, The Four Swords Adventure. I do not own this game. I do own Wind Waker. This is actually my third copy of this one as well. Um, I think the case and everything is in better shape than than the one that I have currently. So I'll probably switch this. I'll just switch my manual into there. Um, I do not own the Four Swords Adventures. And it is, again, in great shape. Just needs a little bit of cleaning. So I will be adding this one to my collection. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. I do not own this game as either. So it will be added to my collection. It's missing the manual, but it's got the disc and all the inserts. It's in fantastic shape. Next is a game I've been searching for for a long time. It's just been way too expensive to buy on its own. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is the first time I've ever seen this game on the GameCube. It was a, from what I understand, it was a late release for the GameCube and was also released on the Wii. Uh, so they didn't make many for this. Unfortunately, it's missing the manual, but again, I've got the disc, I've got all the other inserts. I'm happy. <laughs> I am happy. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> and then finally, last but not least, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time with the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Now this bad boy is complete. It's got the manual, it's got the inserts, it's got the disc, and the disc is in fantastic shape. And yeah, 
That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's everything. I'm not, yes, I am keeping this. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's everything. That's all of it. That's the whole pickup. You know, GameCube, eight games, four of which are Zeldas. Nintendo 6 with, sorry, with matching controller, Game Boy Player, Game Boy Startup Disc, which is under there, the Wave Bird, the N64 with the expansion pack inside, two controllers, five games, the, the manual for it, the jumper pack just in case, the tremor pack with two memory cards in there, the Super Game Boy for my SNES, two, two PS2 games, both Ratchet and Clank, a Luigi's Mansion that I bought separately, and all this other great stuff. I, I'm still in awe. I still can't believe it. I can't. But anyways, guys, you know, this is Rock Not Again. As always, leave me a comment in the section below about this wonderful pickup. Like, come on, guys. Tell me what Zelda game you think I should play first. And you know what? I may need some help with setting up the Game Boy Player and the Wave Bird. So leave a comment in the section below on how to do that, because I've never done it. Never done it. Just started collecting. I've never seen them in the wild, and I just picked it up. And again, thumbs up for Facebook pickups. All of this, except for these three games were Facebook pickups. Those were from my... Uh, those are from a local buy and sell shop. Got those for $5 a piece. Got that for free with trade-ins from a local retro store. Got that for 20 bucks from a guy. Paid minimal for that, like 5 bucks. And the rest of this, I'm not going to tell you what I paid. Not going to tell you. I paid... I paid a good amount. I did. I paid... But I paid less than what it's worth. I paid, like, nothing compared to what it's worth. All right, so give me a comment, or give me a comment in the section below about my awesome pickup. Give me a thumbs up for all the awesome games. And, of course, subscribe to keep up to date with all of my new videos coming out. All right, guys, as always, this is Rock Not signing off, saying rock on.